this year, Lee, we're hoping to have players like uh, Devon Smith, um, Jake Stringer go through the midfield as well. We've also got um, David Myers, Kyle Langford, who uh, has obviously been developing as a midfielder in the VFL for a, num a couple of years now. So um, we've got some good depth there for those players to go through. Um, we've also seen uh, Anthony McDonald, Tipungwudi, and Orazio Fantasia um, slowly starting to experiment with some time through the midfield as well. Some of the players we're keen to see develop this year um, certainly include Josh Begley, who came in late last year and I thought really uh, acquitted himself really well. Uh, obviously Andy McGrath taking another step forward, but uh, definitely Darcy Parrish moving into his third year and working really hard to um, ramp his game right up. So those players in particular, those younger players, we're really keen to see their development. Yeah, Brendan's been uh, obviously a, a, an elite performer um, through the midfield on a wing. Um, last year late, we used him at half back at times and we see him playing that sort of role. So uh, probably a little bit more time across the half back line this year, but still uh, with some time on the wing or through the midfield, um, he gives us that flexibility that we're looking for. Yeah, Devon Smith, uh, we've got to the club as a, a real talent that um, we think can impact the game, um, definitely through the midfield and also at half forward. So uh, I would guess, uh, looking at the way we're starting to structure up, that um, he would spend more balance of his time in the midfield. Um, uh, but definitely with uh, some of the rotations, we'll see Zach Merritt, uh, Zarakis, Parrish, um, and even Dyson at different times at half forward in a rotation. Yeah, Darcy Parrish has had a, a really solid pre-season um, and uh, from where he came from, uh, he was quite a small midfielder, um, thrust into the game straight away. Uh, his body's starting to really develop now and uh, we're seeing him starting to impact the contest a lot more. So again, we think uh, he'll give us some real explosiveness through the midfield a real contested ball winner, um, and uh, he'll also spend some time at half forward, which, which he's done over the last couple of years. Yeah, we're hopeful that Kale will spend most of his time forward this year, uh, and that with the way we're developing our game and uh, the way our key defenders are developing, that he won't be needed um, to push back. So we're really Saying that, we think our back line is going to be strong enough to hold up, that our, our, the way our team defends will be strong enough to, uh, to achieve the targets we're setting ourselves and that KO will uh, help us achieve our offensive targets by kicking big scores. Um, Dyson, yes, he, he grew a fairly rough beard pre-Christmas and uh, yeah, at that stage he felt it was coming off at Christmas time. Um, but he's actually obviously grown to like it. So it's lingering and uh, yeah, I'm, no, I'm not the one to judge on facial hair. So uh, Dyson's leadership is outstanding and um, he's gonna lead the team brilliantly again this year. We're really looking to, to get our best improvement um, really across the team by maintaining our uh, ability to score. I think everyone's been really excited about our attacking brand of football, uh, but we do need to defend um, better as a team and we need to be better around the contested situations in games as well. So they've been the big focuses for us um, through the pre-season and that's where our biggest improvement will come from. Uh, we've added um, some players to our list through the trade period um, we feel like we've drafted well over the last few years, so we've got some good, strong development coming through our younger players. Uh, so ultimately, I think our, our most improvement will come from uh, banding together to play a better defensive brand of football and, uh, and through our talented young players. Well, yeah, that's uh, a good, um, strong definition of how you like your steak. Um, I'm a bit more plain. If I ordered a steak, I would just say medium and I would take what it comes with.